Hello, my name is Triadar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a small Roman lighthouse in Minecraft. Let's get started. So let's take a tour of our small Roman lighthouse. See if you want to construct one. As you can see here, it is done according to the standard Roman plan of building a lighthouse. We will have a rectangular section on the bottom, an octagonal section in the middle, and of course a round section on the top housing the light itself. In this case, it's going to be a series of stacks of flaming netherrack. I think that's uh, suitable for a light. Of course, if you want to have a different material in here, say perhaps some uh, redstone lamps or something, or some glowstone, some sea lanterns, whatever you want to do to light up your lighthouse. So I like to use the, the burning netherrack, though. It's a little more dramatic. Uh, and the whole thing is, of course, uh, topped off with a little sculpture right here at the top as well. Uh, now, this is the same plan that all Roman and Greek lighthouses were built according to. The Great Lighthouse at Alexandria would be a version of this, perhaps a little larger for that particular structure, but uh, not enough remains of that for us to figure out its exact dimensions. But I think that if you have a little harbor in your world and you want to put a nice lighthouse on the shore somewhere or just offshore on a little island, uh, that this building here will be nice and suitable. Of course, we do have a, a very nice classical portico here on the front as well. And if we uh, go in our lighthouse, uh, there is a double corkscrew staircase for you to access the inside of it, by the way. There's one over here and one through here. So we'll just go up that. Of course, there are various windows at uh, each level as you go around. And as I said, it's a double corkscrew staircase, so there's another there's another staircase that I showed you that you can use to get up and down your lighthouse. And it's a long way up, though. We have to go up many flights of stairs, and here we are at the top of our lighthouse. We have that staircase there, and the other staircase, of course, comes out right over here. So, I don't think that it will be too difficult for you to construct. As I said, this is the small version of a Roman lighthouse. I have already done a really big one uh, beforehand, but this is the more survival-friendly size of that particular build. So, before we start the tutorial itself, let's take a look at the build and materials you will be needing to construct uh, this ancient nautical edifice. Uh, you will be needing... 1,717 blocks of diorite, 4,976 blocks of cobble, 13 spruce planks, 360 cobblestone slabs, 81 stone brick slabs, 50 deep slate tile slabs, 463 cobblestone stairs, 34 blocks of netherrack, 122 blocks of light blue stained glass, 126 light blue stained glass panes, and for the light up there at the top, you need 144 blocks of red stained glass, 2,716 stone bricks, 611 stone brick stairs, one spruce door, and for the roof, uh, 62 blocks of red nether brick. So all told, n not, not too bad, I think. So let us begin the tutorial. Now, the dimensions for the building are as follows. It is 17 blocks wide across the front, 26 blocks long back that way, and 86 blocks tall all the way down here to the tip top of the sculpture up there. So the first thing you want to do is make a big rectangle of 17 by 26. And to make sure you count that two or three times. It's uh, very foundational, so we have to get it correct in the middle here. You want to leave uh, three blocks on either side of space and then put a line of cobblestone stairs. You'll have also three blocks over there. And uh, once you have done that, that is the first level. And for the rest of the tutorial, since uh, most of the build is just going straight up, we are going to be doing two block phases. So each subsequent slice I show you of the building is going to be two blocks taller than the previous one. So we're going to 3D print the thing from the bottom up in that manner. Uh, now, the next thing you want to do is lay down a big line of diorite all the way around the front. Just wrap it around here for four blocks all the way along the sides and then around the back here. All right. 
Once you have done that, you just want to extend your stairs up. You want to have uh, one flight of stairs here, another one, and then we want to have a little one block wide landing right here. Right across the front, and then another flight of stairs there. And going on to the next phase, you can see we're finishing off the base by adding another flight of stairs. You'll have two flights of stairs and then a gap, and then two more flights of stairs, and then uh, cover the entire thing over with cobble on the top like you see done here. And from that, we then want to lay out the base of our lighthouse itself. Now that we have uh, the foundation set in, over here for these little fire pots, though, we want to just we want to put down a block of cobble right there, and then put uh, stone brick stairs on all four of the edges here. And let's go ahead and look at that. The rest of that, and for the rest of those, we want to put then upside down stone brick stairs, and then a block of nether rack. And then cobblestone on top of that there. And then you can go ahead and light your nether rack right here for that. And that will complete your little decorative fire pots on the front. Now, if you want to, you can replace the nether rack here with uh, a campfire instead, if you want to have the nice uh, smoke particle effects for that. Behind that, and uh, flush with the stairs right here. We then want to lay out the basis for our uh, four Corinthian columns on the front here. And we're going to do that with just a uh, five block little cross of cobblestone. Like so. And as I'm going, the half slabs are just uh, pointing devices. As are the, the red wool here. I'm just using, the, using that as, as a uh, laser pointer, sort of. Um, now, the intercolumation distance, that is, the distance these columns are apart from each other, is one block. So you want to build one, space a block, build one, space a block, and so on and so forth until you get four across the front there. Then we want to leave two blocks of space behind those for the porch right here. And then we want to lay down our entranceway right here with a little bit of spruce and diorite. And then we want to make a big square leaving one block of gap all the way around the sides of the base that we just built out of stone bricks right there. And of course we have our uh, middle support right here, our, our core that goes all the way up through the lighthouse. Like so. Just a little bit of stone brick and dye right there. And our first uh, corkscrew flights of stairs. Remember the corkscrew stairs? Well this is where they begin, so you want to make your first flight of stairs here and your other flight of stairs over here. Of course, uh, the interior for this is optional. If you want to uh, not build the corkscrew stairs and you want to put a more traditional base in here and just have a ladder that will take you up to the top there, you can, of course, do that as well. You don't have to follow the exact design I have here for that. Uh, but I, I do like to add an interior when possible. Uh, but as I said, if you want to use this uh, structure differently, do feel free to make modifications. Over here for our columns, we just have some stone brick stairs right here, and then the first of our diorite column drums right here. And if you want to, you can go ahead and stack these up for six blocks. And behind that, we have another layer of stone bricks, and then we have a layer of cobblestone. And uh, that's going to be a rule as we go throughout the building, throughout the rest of the building. Let me go back over here and show you. Every time we build a layer of cobble, we're then going to be putting a layer of stone bricks on top of that, and then back to cobble. And then stone bricks again, and then cobble, stone bricks, cobble, so on and so forth, as you can see, all the way up, all the way to the top of the building. So I wanted to point that out as we go. Uh, over here, though, at this phase, we, of course, can put in our door and uh, the rest of the framing for the doorway of spruce. Over here, of course, we have our double corkscrew stairs with the stairs going up here, nothing behind them, and the stairs going up here. Uh, it will be fairly self-explanatory uh, how exactly you build these stairs as we go, I think. Uh, there's also the base of our window frames we're doing out of diorite right here. We just have three blocks on the corners and then a four block window frame, a gap of three, a four block window frame, and then another corner. Uh, now, the, the exterior facade of this building, by the way, is symmetrical. 
So if we go here and we draw a center line, what we build like uh, this on the outside, we want to mirror on the other side of the center line like that. The only thing that's going to be different, as I said, is the interior of this lighthouse. Otherwise, the exterior itself is symmetrical from one side to another. So let's go on to the next phase here. You want to build out the rest of your diorite columns there. Another layer of stone bricks, another layer of cobble, a bit more of the door frame right here. And now the first portions of our windows. Now the windows are being done in the following way. Um, we want to put down a full block of light blue stained glass here and here. And every other block you want to alternate the panes. So as we go, we're going to be we're going to be building our our windows like that pattern there, and then you want to put uh, put the um, uh, the panes on every other diagonal block like that there. That's how I always do. Uh, that's how I always do my windows. I quite like the effect. Uh, over here though, we are doing a bit more of our stairway. So if we come up here, we then come to our first little landing, and we're going to be turning and then going this way. The same is true for our stairs over on this side here. Of course, our main pillar in the middle as well. That's just going to be solid alternating layers of cobble and stone bricks. They're all going to be uh, five by five, like you see down there. That's going to be a, a rule all the way up to up through the core of the lighthouse itself. All right, next phase here, a bit more of our column drums, a little detail of uh, a lintel over the doorway here, a little decorative element. We have this uh, on our windows as well that we'll be seeing on the next level. So you want to do the same thing I said with the, uh, the glass again. Alternate the blocks and the panes. We have the, the um, diorite window frames right here two windows on the back, and two windows on the sides. Of course, uh, one of these windows is, is exactly the same as all the other windows. Of course, here we had our little landing, so we are turning and going up this way with our next set of stairs, and we are doing the opposite on the other side over here. All right, next phase. We are putting on our Corinthian capitals now. We have uh, upside down uh, cobblestone stairs and then uh, stone bricks on top of that to represent our acanthus leaves. Over here, we have a little detail over the doorway uh, made out of, uh, of uh, half slabs here. And that is going to be um, just, just a little uh, triangular decorative pediment over the doorway. On the sides here, we have some upside down cobblestone stairs. Uh, the decoration for these windows are all the same, by the way. So once you build one of these, you just want to build that on all of your other windows. A bit more of the stairs in here, as you can see. And over here as well. There's really only one way to put these stairs in here. So once you, once you have the first flight and the first landing established, I think you will click, uh, quickly see how to place the rest of those. So over here for our uh, capitals, we finished those off, and now we're putting on some uh, cobblestone lintels. Uh, four blocks from there, and of course, uh, several blocks across, all the way until you get over here to that one, and then to just turn the corner. Connect the ones in the middle until you have a 3x3 three three gap. Three of those right there in the middle. Um, on the exterior, we have... Uh, Different decorative details. We have some uh, semicircular details here for the windows made out of just uh, some half slabs right here on some upside down stone brick stairs. Of course, once you do one of those, all the other ones are exactly the same. All right, next phase, we're building uh, our entablature now. And what you want to do for this is, is put a band of uh, diorite all the way around the building, like you see here. And on top of that, you want to put some upside down stone brick stairs for a cornice. All the way around the structure, like you see done here. And we just have a little one block cut out here, and it overhangs a block here with a half slab for our pediment that we're just about to construct. 
Uh, so here's a bit more detail on the stairs. As you can see, I'm sort of, I think from this point onwards, I'm going to gloss over the stairs uh, because, uh, as you can tell, they're very uh, repetitive. So once you once you build one level and get to a landing, all you do is turn and go up the other way, turn and go up this way, and so on and so forth for the double cork, uh, corkscrew stairs. Uh, as I said, if you want to, you can dispense with these stairs if you don't want them. You could perhaps put only one corkscrew or just put a big ladder and leave the whole thing hollow if you're if you're really on a budget. Uh, but I will leave that up to you. Uh, so over here for our pediment, we have our uh, our full blocks right here and then double half slabs right there for this. And uh, that is going to be the the block slope for that as we go through here and that will get you all the way to the top over there like that and behind that we would just want to have some cobblestone and then diorite behind that and on the sides we of course for our roof tiles we have some red nether brick and some deep slate tiles alternated like you see done here now, on the sides though we want to carry around a band of uh, cobblestone half slabs, so nothing will spawn here, all the way around that, and all the way around the other side. Now underneath here also, I should mention we want to just put on a 3x3 three three thing of diorite with one block knocked out in the middle. Alright, there's our stairs down in there as well, as you can see. Um, next phase, a little bit more of our pediment. Of course, we finished that just like I described to you over here. Now, we do have some uh, little uh, decorative finales over here, three blocks of diorite right there. And carry up your roof tiles to the middle, and then that meets in the middle with a line of cobble, like you see done here. Then behind that, we want to have a layer of diorite at this level here. Just make a big square of that all the way around the lighthouse. You can also carry it in the middle if you want to as well, but that's optional. Uh, if you want to, you can put um, you can put uh, stone bricks in there if you want to save a little bit of diorite for yourself. Uh, next phase here at the front, we are putting on a little decorative finale at the top of our pediment right here. And just uh, one more block of diorite right there, and that will finish that off. Behind that, we, went there, we then want to have a double cornice going around the lighthouse. Uh, what you did down here for this, this section here, do again for this section here and just wrap it as a big square all the way around the lighthouse like you see done here. Of course, behind that on the inside, your stairs are doing the same thing. All right, uh, next phase here, you then want to just continue your stairs and then build up a square of uh, first stone bricks and then cobblestone, like you see, like we've been doing with the alternating of the uh, materials. Right there. Next phase after that, we then want to have another level of windows. Right here, of course, all these windows are the same size. Um, well, they're the same width, they will vary in height. They, they will get shorter in height as we go up the lighthouse. And you want to have, let me just show you that from the top down, you want to have, uh, what, eight windows, uh, all spaced equidistant from each other on all four sides of your square. And next phase here, you want to just carry that up again, like you see done here. All right, next phase, uh, same details for the windows again, just like you did for the lower ones. And same thing for your stairs on the inside here as well. Next phase here, you can see, same deal for the windows. They're just a little bit less decorative as we go up on the lighthouse. We're not doing the thing with the half slabs here. You can add that detail if you want to. Uh, but uh, since the windows, you can see they're a little bit smaller and the details are a little bit less as we go up the lighthouse. 
So in next phase here, we then want to put a big square of diorite and then a cornice of upside down stone brick stairs all the way around the lighthouse here. And then cobblestone slabs on top of that to prevent spawning and also just to make it a little bit thicker. And on top of that, then two layers of stone bricks as you see done here. Of course, your, your corkscrew stair is the same in the middle. I think you have a handle on how to build those, so I'm not going to dwell on that anymore. Uh, next phase back here, another layer of cobblestone and then stone bricks. And then, of course, you guessed it, more windows like you see done here. We uh, are at, at this level here right now, about halfway up. Of course, you want to do another eight windows like you see done here. In fact, uh, this section here is sort of a module. We're going to be stacking that up for a second time up here, windows and everything. The only thing that's going to be different inside of that is going to be, be the position of your corkscrew stairs. So I think I can uh, save some time and gloss over that a little bit. You can see we have windows, same pattern. Now the two block of windows there and windows again here. And uh, the diorite square here and then of course on top of that you want to have the upside down stone brick stairs and then the cobblestone again so in other words let me let me go back down here so from here to here consider this to be a module so once you build one of those you then want to stack it up and build another one all the way up to there as i said the only thing that's going to be different there is the interior arrangement of the, the uh, stairs and now on top of that, though, we are going to begin to build our octagonal section. And of course, we have some little decorations of diorite on the edges here. Right there. And of course, our octagon in the middle. So if we start along our center line right here and count for one, two, three, four, and then go for a diagonal of three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three diagonal, and then back to another four here. That is going to be the outline of the octagon for our stairs. Right there, you can see. Next phase over here, we are adding in some windows on the octagonal sections. Uh, these are going to be three blocks wide for the flat faces, and they're going to be only one block for the other ones. And they aren't technically windows on the other ones. We're just sort of drawing in a, a rectangle of diorite on the diagonal because we can't really fit in another window on the sides here. Well, maybe we could have, uh, but uh, I didn't choose to do that. So you can see here, show you that from the top down. And the next phase here, we just want to stack up everything we did again, alternating our cobblestone and our stone bricks with our dial right here. Just continue to wrap around your stairs. It's going to get a little bit tight in the corners here. Wasn't much we could do about that. Well, I suppose we could have knocked out a couple of blocks here for that. On the sides there. Perhaps we could have, uh, could have, we could have done that, I suppose. Now that I'm looking at it in profile. If you need a, a little extra room, you can do that. Uh, next phase here, a bit more of the windows and the diorite, like you see done here. A bit more with the stairs. I don't know if we have enough room to knock out more of that. I think we don't. Uh, but we have our stairs again, wrapping around there. Next phase, details for our windows. Along the sides here. And for our stairs. All right, next phase here. We're in the home stretch now. So on the top here, we want to then uh, make these little triangular sections with diorite behind them. Back up, back down here, we have we're going to have three blocks of diorite down there behind that. Some half slabs over here. We're doing a sort of a semicircular uh, diagonals for these false windows over here. 
and then they're going to be uh, pointed on the front here, like you see. Uh, next phase after that, we want to have an octagon of diorite, like you see done here. Now, on top of that, you want to wrap around some stone brick stairs for a cornice on top of that, like you see done here, just all the way around, like so. All right, on top of that, then you want to put down some cobblestone, like so. And then some, uh, we're going to have some little decorative finales on the side here, just like we had down here. For these, we're going to be building that again up here for those. And behind here, as you can see, we are going to have some more Corinthian columns, which we're going to be building. So once you build these little bases here, we had to, we had to uh, chop off the bases behind here because we were running out of room. It's a, it's a little tight. Once we get up to the top here, we've really only got two blocks to play with. Like so, and once you do the bases here, you can go ahead and build up for six blocks of diorite again, just like we did for those columns all the way down there at the bottom when we started. You want to do that again up here for these columns as well. Of course, uh, they're going to be spaced one block apart along here. Of course, uh, one block diagonal as well. In the middle here, we now have our little light. It's just going to be netherrack surrounded by red stained glass three blocks on either side of the red stained glass there next phase here we are just uh, stacking you want to stack uh, the red stained glass and then you can go ahead and light some of your netherrack like so there and in the middle of this we are going to want to have uh, just a, a column of cobblestone just right in the middle there but it's going to be surrounded by red stained glass on all of the four sides like you see done here and this uh, light is modular by the way so once you do this section from here to here that's a module and you just want to build that again as we go up the light you just want to stack it up like you see done here I think that's fairly self-explanatory, so it shouldn't be very difficult. As I said, if you want to modify this with perhaps a rotating redstone lamp or something, up there with some observers or something, you can uh, try to do that. Uh, redstone's not really my thing, so I didn't put one of those in this uh, design. Uh, on the top, of course, you want to put your upside-down stairs here for your acanthus capitals. right? Uh, like so, just like we did below. These are just copies of those. And on top of that, we then want to have an octagonal section here. It's going to be five blocks across, two blocks diagonal, and then five blocks across. Like you see done there. And of course, just keep uh, stacking up your light there in the middle. Now, how many layers of that? Is that? What's that, four? Yep. Uh, for the next layer after that, the, we then want to wrap around our stairs on the outside the octagonal cornice. But not, um, uh, well, it looks octagonal, but it really should be circular. It's what it's, it's, what it's designed to be. Uh, but uh, at this scale in Minecraft, we don't really have enough blocks to make it look really circular. So you're just going to have to use your imagination on this one. Uh, let me show you underneath here, I think, first. So we just want to have just a straight cobblestone ceiling up there and just have your light and stained glass go all the way up to the top of that up here. And uh, that will finish off your light. And from here, we're just uh, working on the roof. So let me just show you this here from the top down and now from the side. So we want to have our deep slate tiles and then our red uh, nether brick behind that here. And then just fill in the rest with cobblestone. On the next phase here, we then want to arrange our roof tiles according to this pattern here. Like you see. And then we want to have uh, eight decorative uh, finnels around the sides here. With some diorite blocks like so. And this should all meet up at a 3x3 thing of cobble there at the top. 
and then just stack a layer of uh, diorite and then a layer of cobble on top of that. And then we're going to start building our little statue. So I'll go around here and show you that. It's not very difficult. This is one of the smallest statues, I think, that you can get in Minecraft. Like so, just a little decorative Aquaterion statue up at the top of our lighthouse. I think it's supposed to be a winged griffin. Uh, of course, uh, it is only a couple of blocks, so, you know, it's just not going to be the greatest statue. Uh, but it just has to look good, uh, look good from a distance. All right, next couple of blocks for that up here. Just building out the head and the wings. Like you see done here, if you've done any of my other Roman tutorials, this is just a standard statue design that I use quite a lot. So you may already know how to build it. And then just two more blocks at the top for the wings right there on either side. And uh, once you have done that, your small Roman lighthouse will be complete. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial for the small Roman lighthouse. Remember, this world is available for both Java and Bedrock Edition in the video description. In case anything was unclear and you need to come take a look at the reference models for yourself. And I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.